2.4 million babies have been saved. So to think that it's all come from this one man, like, it's just amazing. So I'm James Harrison, I'm a blood donor. I always knew having a child would be really tough and I was never really that focused on the birth. I was more worried about the parenting side of things. My partner and I had been trying for a baby for a few months and we finally found out we were pregnant and it was just so exciting. We went and were having the routine ultrasound checkup and they said that, um, that you've miscarried. That was just you know, incredibly upset. And it was a really hard time. And they put you in this little waiting room and you're seeing all these pregnant women walk past and, you know, you're there with all the other women in the same situation and it's just kind of pretty horrible. When I was 14, I had pneumonia three times in St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. I was in there for three months. I remember being wheeled down the uh, the long corridors and looking at the lights going past. I ended up having two thirds of the lung removed. After the operation, my father said I'd had 13 units of blood. Groggily at that time, I would imagine, I said, well, I'll become a blood donor. I started off every two months, every six weeks, then every four weeks, and then every two weeks. It was just another thing I could do. It cost, cost me nothing. It's probably the only talent I had in those days. I was told that now I've had a miscarriage, it will affect future pregnancies. They also told me that I was racist negative at that time. Whenever a mother that's rhesus negative is pregnant with a rhesus positive baby, then there's a chance that she'll become sensitised to the baby's blood. The mother makes an immune response and says, oh, I don't recognise this, and that makes antibodies which cross the placenta back into the baby and destroy the baby's blood. They can often die in utero if it's, if it's not managed. There's a chance that, that the baby's blood can get into the mother's circulation at times of miscarriage. And that's when they gave me anti-D. They had found this antibody in my blood, the anti-D antibodies. We learnt that if we gave anti-D, we could prevent this terrible disease of the newborns. When I fell pregnant again, the pregnancy went really well. You no, know, it would have been a lot worse if, you know, I hadn't been given that anti-D. It could have been way worse. I found out that James Harrison is responsible for the discovery of it um, and a lot of the donations. He's had such high levels of the antibody that it's been able to be used in most of the anti-D batches that have been made for many years. They said I was in every injection up until 2015. I went in that area there, 1,173. That was the highest of donations that anyone had ever achieved. Unfortunately, I got to 81 and that's the retiring age, so... They retired me. I did not retire myself. So it was quite an enjoyment saving babies' lives and making a life for a woman and a husband. When it happened, it was amazing. My partner was in tears, crying, and, you know, I was just like... Who is this little person? It's just like surreal that they're there and they're looking at you and it's just, yeah, it's amazing. I'm just so grateful that I've got such a beautiful, healthy baby boy. We love him so much and we're just so happy that he's here in our lives now. Since 1967, when I started donating the Anti-D, I have been informed that I have saved 2.4 million babies. You know, so many other people have gone through the same thing and it's one man has helped so many, like, in the same situation as myself. He's amazing that he's done that.